Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Bella, back at y'all with another video. Um, and in today's video, we are just gonna be sitting down, chit-chatting. I actually, I'm only gonna be doing the top part of my face because I'm gonna be wearing a mask anyways. Um, that is what today's video is gonna be about. I'm gonna go ahead and get started and get into the eye look because, you know, I'm gonna try to talk and do my makeup. Honestly, I don't really fully know what I am going to be saying in this video. Um, honestly, I wasn't going to even make a video. I was just going to n not post um, in honor of the movement and the fact that like, I feel like I have no right to be going back to any sort of like type of normal life or any type of like normalcy because um a lot of people do not get the opportunity and i am fortunate enough to low-key benefit from privilege and live in a fucking suburban neighborhood because you know i'm a little i'm a little light skin you know i've honestly i've never really like experience too much like racism where I live and all I would see was just like every now and then I would just see some little snippet of some video of some person of some white bitch yelling at a person of color to like go back to the land the homeland or whatever and it's like bro like this isn't even your homeland so shut the fuck up like if you really want to argue that shit then this ain't your homeland either bitch I'm not gonna even lie, I'm really bad at educating myself on like any type of like politics or any type of anything. Like even like even like social media. I don't know why I'm just like so bad at like keeping myself updated and informed and I realized that um I was being fucking stupid and I was being fucking ignorant and I'm fucking tired of myself. Like I'm literally tired of myself. I need to do better. So I have been protesting for the past two weeks. I have not been protesting every day. Unfortunately, it's low-key hard for me to find people to go with. And not because they're not supportive. Because everybody in my life... Almost everybody in my life is being supportive. But, like, most of my friends don't even live in this town anymore. And the friends that do are working and have jobs. And I understand that they cannot make it all the time. And I actually have um, hit up one of the girls that was on my old tennis team and uh, cause she's been protesting in Portland and asked if I could come along with her. And she was like, oh, of course, you know, like um, just text me whenever you're here and like we can meet up. And I always do have that option. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I am really, I'm just really bad in social situations and um, I don't really know how to make friends. I don't especially know how to make friends with black people. Um, and I know that sounds really weird, but like, let me just explain my reasoning is because I always felt like, um, because I'm fairly light skinned, like I'm pretty fucking white, honestly. And I feel like they'll shun me and like hate me for trying to be their friend because like I'm not black enough. And I realize that's ridiculous. And like, even if that's the case, like different ethnicities can be friends. I realize that like, it's a very stupid and very irrational fear, but at the same time, it's <laughs> a very real fear of mine, honestly. You know, I'm not fully black and I have been told like multiple times, several times by a lot of different parties that like, um, that I'm basically just like white on the inside and I have no black in me and that I'm like not black basically. I, and I even wouldn't call myself that and I even said that to myself, but like I didn't, I guess I didn't realize how demeaning to my character I was being and what I was actually saying about myself. And basically, I realized the errors of my ways um, and realized that I was being fucking stupid. Okay, I wanted to do rainbow, but low-key running out of room. But the 
that's okay. I still have anxiety and it's still a real fucking bitch. And honestly, like being in crowds scares the fucking daylights out of me. Like my stomach isn't fucking nuts. Every fucking day, like I feel like my stomach is gonna fucking explode because I'm afraid people are gonna reject me. And um, I've honestly just felt like that my whole life. Maybe because I never felt like I fit in. That's that. Don't know why I'm getting so deep into this. Didn't think I was going to be discussing this while I was doing my makeup, but here we are. Um, I know that I'm kind of jumping around here, but I kind of want to like move back and like tell you guys why I decided to protest. Honestly, when I heard about George Floyd's death and I like saw it and then um, um, people started like posting more and more about the movement and like every fucking person started to get involved and I started seeing more and more and I realized that like I had become so desensitized to the fact that I've been seeing black people killed on television my whole life that like I couldn't even properly care about it anymore. I accepted that like that's my fucking life and that's my fucking world and then i educated myself more on systemic racism and started watching more documentaries um reading more on the news actually fucking watching the news um all of it i started to do all of it and i realized that like i'm fucking stupid i literally know fucking nothing I'm fucking ignorant and like I was okay with that. I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm not gonna be like that anymore. Don't wanna um, bury my head in the sand anymore just because it's painful or I don't like expressing my emotions and that's fucked up and that's wrong of me because I realize that other people need compassion in their life. And also I've been learning throughout this process is that um, it's honestly not my fucking job to educate you. Taking the time out of your day to have empathy, uh, to have enough empathy to like see what we're going through because it's like, it's fucked up. Um, I guess I could talk about um, Instagram and stuff and like the YouTube community actually because um, that's an issue I kind of want to get into. So um, I honestly, I follow like a really, really diverse range of people on youtube one thing i don't i don't really like limit myself to who i follow and like i just really enjoy watching a whole bunch of different personalities something i'm seeing in the media is like every single fucking person is like taking action and like trying to post stuff and like trying to be informative and posting a video about it but now that two weeks have gone by the support is already starting to dwindle and um it's kind of like what the fuck because it's like i people experience this every day like they're going through the pain of losing their fucking loved ones every day they are being beaten every day they are people peacefully protesting and still like getting hated on and beat on for like no reason for fighting for their basic human rights and then you have people saying okay i'm gonna go back to my normal life now um i'm in no way ignoring the movement but like i gotta get back to my life and it's like bruh like this movement is my life these are this like movement is about like every single black person's life and we can't just ignore that so why should you get the chance to ignore that why should you get the chance to turn it off and the reason that i'm getting so heated about this is because i've actually uh i don't really want to like say names but i basically commented on this youtuber's video and honestly if you go to my instagram you will see their names anyways so it's not like i'm trying to be subtle about this but like I, I'm definitely in no way trying to call one specific person out. I'm calling kind of everybody out because she is definitely not the only YouTuber I have been seeing this in. But like, um, you know, I've been following for her, her for a good while and it was just like very disappointing to see 
that and like to see like that she's just like going back to like her normal life um with posting like maybe five or six things about it in the span of two weeks like bro like you got me fucked up like social media is your life and the fact that like um you're posting like and the fact that you're posting like six or seven things to your story and only one thing is like a cutesy little picture about like how black lives matter it's like you know one of those like cute ones that like artists have been making with like the little fucking art and it's like really like you could i've like reached out to her and be like you need to like post donation sites like petitions to sign like this is the type of shit that we should be posting this is the type of shit you need to inform your audience about like you have a platform and i want you to use it like i don't understand like what the fuck like you have a platform and you could be using it for so much good right now but instead you're using it just to like promote yourself and promote everything about your life and then putting black lives matter on as a side as opposed like it like having the limelight and like um attention that it fucking deserves like, I can get the fact that, like, people have prior commitments, they have a life to live, like, they have, um, they have things that they need to do. Yeah, like, so do I, and I'm just trying to live, and I'm just trying to have my life be the life that you have because of your privilege, you know? And I want that, and I don't want white privilege to exist anymore. I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be a thing. Um, and honestly, if you're not behind the movement and you're not speaking up and you're not um you're not taking enough action to like call people to action then um you're not in support and you're part of the problem and people like that who like get so involved one week and then go back to their normal life the next week and the people like that is a big reason why our movement can lose steam and cl and get just shoved to the back corner of um people's thoughts and minds because they're like oh like i talked about the serious issue that's going on right now but like i guess other people have it and other people are protesting and like they're using their voices, so I don't need to use mine as much. And that's not the case. Like, I don't have any sort of platform. I don't have any. Like, I honestly don't have any fucking sort of platform at all to, like, share anything. Like, I don't. And, um, obviously, I'm making, I'm making this video right now to, like, share on my platform. But it's not like I have a lot of people listening to me. And YouTubers like that do. And I think it's very fucking um, ignorant and just fucking um, disrespectful to just blast it for a minute and then like slip it in occasionally. Like, oh, like I'm still here. I'm still supporting. LOL. Like, let me just post a black heart real quick on my cute posts of me and my pink sweater like yeah that's not supporting that is hopping on the bandwagon so you don't lose any of your followers and so that um you appease people like you're just appeasing you're not fighting with us you're appeasing and that's fucked up and you have me fucked up like honestly that's how i feel and nobody can tell me any differently Sorry guys, I cannot talk and focus on outlating this at the same time, so I'll be back in a minute. And this is the final look. Um, obviously I'm not gonna tie it right now because um I'm trying to talk to you guys. But um I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hope y'all enjoyed me discussing a little bit. I wasn't gonna say anything on this platform, but I figured why not, you know, like um, even though I don't really have that many people following me, I at least raise some awareness of what's going on out there. And if any, if any of you want to ever get educated, just follow my Instagram. It'll be linked below. It's Bella underscore wall 99. And I'm always posting all kind of information. And if you want any information on donations or petitions to sign, just DM me and I will give you those resources. And I will see y'all in my next video. So... Peace.